this is closing day we're headed to a closing we're headed to the title company with one of my clients here and this is the most exciting part of the of the journey we're gonna go sign paperwork and then eventually you get your keys to your new house and so what I want to do is I just want to take you on this journey this is what it's gonna look like to go through actual closing so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna get there clients gonna have their check for their funds to actually close they're gonna sign all their documents the most important document is gonna be the warranty deed which is actually gonna transfer the property over to the new owners right everything usually goes smoothly and then when you get right before your closing date right before you're supposed to sign that's when all of the not issues but a lot of things that have not been done end up getting done at the very last minute and so there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes between your lender title company and your agent that a lot of times the client actually never sees and so if you're buying a house and it seems like as you're getting close to the end things get a little more stressful or it seems like you know, a lot of things haven't been done. I'm not gonna say that's normal, but if that does happen, just don't freak out. Like everything will get will get done in the amount of time that it needs to get done. I think that's actually called Parkinson's Law. Don't worry about that. Lean on your professional in order to, uh, to get those things done. There's like a pothole here. Oh, look at that. I hit that pothole one time and then I missed it the next time and now it's filled in. It's a great job. Good work, City of Midland. Yeah, we're gonna go, we'll be at the title company next. Yeah. How y'all doing? Hey, how are you? What's up? So did you have the burrito in the car and you had to finish the burrito before you come back in? I don't eat breakfast actually. I actually fast in the mornings. Me too. You do? See? So, what do you do? I'm a property manager. I work in a building downtown. Oh, which one? Um, Independence Plaza. Oh yeah? That's the building that I manage. And Chandler, what do you do? Um, I currently work at High Sky Children's Ranch. Um, I'm the therapeutic coordinator there. Sign your name with this little X's right here and then print your name underneath that one. One on this X, one on this X. So it doesn't really matter which X you're on. Okay? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know the ropes and nothing's changed. So this is the amount of your note. If you do not know this, you have an excellent interest rate, yeah. okay? And then this is your closing cost today. Do you have that with you? Yes. Yay. We'll also send you an email for your homestead so then you can get Perfect. all that stuff, all that yeah. stuff worked out too. Okay, so your check is for $1 more than what your closing cost is, okay? It's 529, this is 528. Yeah, job. It's okay. Okay, perfect. I was like, you're going to get a check today for $1. Okay, perfect. Make sure you cash it, please. Will do. <laughs> All right, so we've got an update to the update here. We actually got funded. We got clear to close, not clear to close, but we actually got funded uh, on our closing here. And so now I'm, I'm actually about to go to the house. I have not seen the house yet. I know they are really, really excited. And so we are going to go here and check the house out for the first time. It smells good. It smells awesome. Already know where you want to put all the furniture and everything? Oh yeah, for sure. It's always good too to be one of the first ones in a subdivision because you get in, you get in early and uh, let me switch around. You get in early and as the homes go in you know the builder's not going to let the values of the house go down if they can help it right if they can help it and so you want to get in early in a subdivision yes you're going to be there's going to be a lot of construction around you and all that but if you can get in early that would be my recommendation get in early just like these guys did it's a good deal new construction it is for some people it's not for others and uh yeah, let me know what you think. Is this is this uh, what you thought it was gonna be? Anything different, anything surprise you or whatever? And we'll catch you on the next one. Pshaw.